Last year, Toyota went out and promised us an EV battery that would end all EV batteries, the solid-state battery. This alleged revolution was supposed to bring ranges triple the current standard, with some vehicles being able to do over 750 miles on a single charge. However, soon after, Toyota went quiet, and we're yet to hear any news concerning the eventual release and implementation of the solid-state battery, leaving fans confused and disappointed. So let's first explain what Toyota's solid-state battery is before we proceed with why Toyota went silent. For all intents and purposes, a solid-state battery is a lithium-based battery, very similar to those found in regular EVs and hybrids. However, there is one key difference. Solid-state batteries use different electrolytes altogether. A lithium-ion battery uses either liquid or gel electrolytes, whereas solid-state batteries use completely solid electrolytes. On paper, liquid and gel electrolytes have practically no benefit compared to solid electrolytes, except for the fact that the current industry is well adapted to them and that more developed versions of them exist compared to solid-state batteries, which are still a very recent technological breakthrough. Apart from that, solid-state batteries tend to reign supreme compared to regular lithium-ion batteries in every way possible. They have greater energy density, making them much more potent. Just look at the range figures. A Tesla Model 3 with a long-range drivetrain can do 350 miles at best, whereas a Toyota equipped with a solid-state battery could reach up to 750 miles, which is more than double that of the Tesla. In addition, solid-state batteries are known for being much more stable in any environment and weather, which is essential for the automotive industry. As you know, range anxiety is amplified in the cold as a lithium-ion battery, albeit better than nickel-metal hydride, NiMH, still has a lot of problems because both gel and liquid electrolytes tend to react much worse than solid matter in the cold. In addition, solid-state batteries are also much safer than regular lithium-ion batteries as there is no risk of either explosion or fire. You couldn't possibly ignite them, nor can the escaping liquid in case of an accident create short-circuiting, which could lead to fire hazards. Toyota has been very vocal with these claims in the past few years, especially in 2023, after they announced their plan to introduce heaps of new EVs, all of which were expected to be equipped with solid-state batteries eventually. As a result, we were all left disappointed after Toyota stopped updating us and hyping it up. So, let's dive into why solid-state battery technology has been shelved for now. Problem number one. The solid-state battery has a short lifespan. First of all, Toyota encountered a problem with the solid-state battery early in its development, and they are yet to find a solution for it. Solid-state batteries have one crucial problem, and that is that their projected lifespan is simply much shorter compared to regular lithium-ion batteries. For starters, solid-state batteries face much more severe electrolyte degradation, which is caused by prolonged exposure to heat or temperature, severely shortening the battery's lifespan. In addition, Poor contact between the electrolyte and electrodes is extremely important, as any improper contact increases resistance and significantly decreases a battery's overall performance. This requires much more care and time to be established compared to regular batteries, meaning that the production costs and time are much higher than normal. This significantly hurts the scalability of solid-state batteries, as the manufacturing process would need to be much more complex to allow them to be truly reliable and achieve their maximum potency. In addition, even though solid-state batteries are safer than their regular lithium-ion counterparts, they are also noticeably more brittle than others. Solid electrolytes are much easier to crack under stress, which means that there is a big possibility of them getting damaged during repeated charging and discharging cycles, especially during heavy usage, which is a given when talking about EVs. However, all these issues could be somewhat mitigated or removed altogether, albeit with a high budget. What Toyota cannot fix fully yet 
is the solid-state battery's most prominent problem, dendrite formation. Dendrites are small structures that form on the surface of the anode during the charging process. These needle-like structures are made of lithium and occur when the lithium deposition process isn't balanced, or to be more precise, when lithium starts forming quicker in certain areas compared to others. As the charging continues, these areas start amassing lithium faster than other parts, leading them to grow larger and form dendrites. This is a problem, because dendrites cause short circuits as their continued growth results in them piercing through the solid electrolyte and reaching the cathode. While this won't result in a fire, it will rapidly degrade the battery while also making it even more brittle than it is now. Dendrites have been a known issue for lithium-ion batteries, too, but the increased energy density of solid-state batteries has made their formation far less controllable and faster. Toyota initially thought that this process would take much less time to fix, but they're yet to find a solution that is both economical and practical. However, even if they were to find a solution to this issue, there is another problem that needs addressing. Toyota's BZ4X was met with a very lukewarm reception when it was released, and over the past two years, its reputation plummeted. The BZ4X has been a terrible vehicle for Toyota's first EV, as it goes against all the previously established vehicle for Toyota's first EV, as it goes against all the previously established values of the company. It's unreliable, it has terrible range, it's severely overpriced, and it is very impractical. It's like Toyota intentionally made the BZ 4x4 bad. As a result, Toyota's EV sales have been, without exaggeration, abysmal. Literally nobody is buying them, and for a good reason. As a result, shedding this image will be extremely hard even with the solid-state battery in place. Plus, even if they were to develop a properly capable EV with a battery like this, Who's to guarantee that it would be profitable? EV sales have started dropping rapidly recently due to their incredibly high price tag and low usability. Now sure, a solid-state BEV would be better in regards to range and practicality. However, these vehicles would also be noticeably more expensive than regular EVs, which, to be frank, is the last thing they needed. Plus, in the past few years, many car companies, with Toyota at the helm, have been focusing on creating alternative propulsion methods such as hydrogen engines, FCEVS, ammonia engines, and similar solutions that point us to a carbon-neutral future of vehicles. And while yes, these projects and prototypes weren't exactly 100% successful, they did show us BEVs might not be the way of the future. 